Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I am restarting this. So I had just spoke for about five minutes here and realized and looked and realized that my video was not recording. <laughs> it's still early. So it's 7.15 here in Columbus, Ohio. I woke up around 6.30, my alarm went off. I set my alarm for 6.30. I got such great sleep last night, guys. And yesterday I was just super restless. It was pretty bad, um, but I I slept like an angel, truly. <laughs> so usually my mornings, um, I'll get up, go to the bathroom, throw some water on my face, some cold water. Then I will grab a washcloth get it really cold and I just like dab it on my face. It's just nice, it feels really good on my skin, it wakes me up. So I am not like, a, I'm not a, a morning shower person. I like taking nice warm showers before I go to bed. It's just like cozy and comfy unless I need to take a shower in the morning. But yeah, so cold, wa cold washcloth on my face just really wakes me up, livens me up. I feel like it's really good too, just for like, if you're a little swollen or especially from traveling, you know, sometimes I'll just retain a little bit of water, but honestly, um, woke up feeling great. My body feels really good. Um, I also have this cream that I put on underneath my eye. I actually found it at Ulta. I'll share that with you guys. So it's pretty much just vitamin C, but it has like a little, um, like spoolie on it. So you take it and it almost just like pushes and helps like if you have any kind of little bags so for me i don't get black underneath my eye it doesn't get dark but i get puffy underneath my eye so i love it because it just really kind of just helps to really push that um like kind of like the lactic acid and kind of just that puffiness and smooths it out underneath the eye so usually i'll do that Kind of just, I mean, you didn't, guys, you guys didn't see it before, but either way, it helps. I like it. And then I will start my day with like a, um, just kind of like my daily morning meditation is usually what I do. I didn't bring my book that I has my, my daily, daily reads, but I am just going to do a little reading in my one book that I have, which is called Mystery of the Power of Words. This is um, so far absolutely amazing. A friend had purchased this for me and sent it to me and I'm forever grateful because it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it's gonna open me up to more of his books. His name is Kevin Zadai. I think I'm saying it correctly, Zadai. Kevin L. Zadai. Mystery of the power words. Speak the words that move mountains and make hell tremble. So I'll probably read a little bit of that. Do a little my little morning prayer. Um, I'm actually drinking a Red Bull, sugar-free Red Bull, but I'm only drinking half of it because this is the big one. And usually I have my black coffee in the morning. Did not have my black coffee in the morning. There's actually like a little coffee machine in here but I was too lazy to start it up so I'm gonna save that for when I get back because usually after I come back from like cardio or training I'll have I'll have another cup of coffee to kind of keep me going then for the rest of the day until I have another cup of coffee <laughs> but I'm going to do this do my little morning stuff and then I'm going to go find the gym here in the hotel and go get like a quick 30 minute um, body pump in. I actually would have back, so I'm gonna do some back stuff. I may just overall just do a little bit of upper body because it is my deload week. Um, we decided to take a deload just because we've been going, going, going since I started this prep and it's been absolutely amazing. My body's responding beautifully. I'm really happy about that. But with traveling and this weekend being like super busy, um, it's a lot on me, taxing, fatiguing. Um, 
And so it just made sense to really kind of start this deload and just have it for the weekend, which will be really nice for me. So it's not causing too much of a fatigue buildup to where it's setting me back. So I'm good for it. We can do this. Let me get dressed and ready for the, for the gym. And then we're gonna do my little morning stuff. Chidio. So I am now gonna make my pre-workout. I just brought my blood shot. I, and I like doing this, so like I use the Hostile bags. Like, so when you purchase them from Hostile, they are in these cool bags. And so I actually save these because I think they are amazing to use as bags to carry yourself when you're traveling. So I specifically like them for my powdered stuff. So for instance, I've got my protein in here. I've got my glutamine that I brought and I put this in the bags. I've got my blood shot and then my creatine and then my hostility. So the hostility is going to have your caffeine in that. But I'm going to do the blood shot this morning because I've already had like half of my Red Bull. I'm already caffeinated. And so like, I don't want the extra caffeine so that I'm super stimulated. So I'm going to do blood shot glutamine and my creatine mix. But the thing that I'm really annoyed about guys is that I forgot my shaker, but that's okay. There's no need to freak out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is, so they have this um, little pitcher here. I'm actually going to add it to this, add my water. And I have my, as you guys know, I love my little wisp. So I'm gonna like whisk it, whisk it up in there and then pour it. So let me do that. rinsed it out first because I don't know where this has been. Even though they cleaned it and it says that they cleaned it. And I have my little measuring scoopers as well so I know how much, but I also like measuring it just in case. So five grams of creatine, a nice big heaping scoop. I love my glutamine. Glutamine is actually really good to take fasted. Somehow it, it's supposed to, it works better that way, but do you know it's great for like digestion? Also, I think like metabolism, I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. There's my salt, here we go. So then I've got my other stuff as well, my seasoning, cinnamon, peanut butter, and then I've got my salt here. So I'll do a scoop of that, mix it up. So here's the pre-workout, guys. So when you forget your shaker, which I can't believe I forgot it, it's okay. Let me turn this light on and see how this looks. I felt like it was a little bit too dark, but oh, anyways, previously. There's like barely anything left. But cheers, let's get ready for a Bloody pulp, mm, that tastes good. It's like a little pre-workout martini. Hey we are, Fitness Center.
Okay guys, so I just got back to my hotel room. I am going to get my food started, get my breakfast ready, right? And then I'm going to get ready here. I'm actually going to rinse off because I got a little sweaty and I don't wanna be all sweaty at the expo, that's like the worst. So I'm gonna get my stuff together. I'm gonna get ready here because it's already 8.39 and I do not like rushing. I hate it and I wanna make sure I get down there in time and then get to the booth, guys. So wish me luck. I'm super excited about today and I'm just gonna keep these rolling um, when I can. So they may seem a little sporadic, maybe different. I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but I'm just gonna roll with it and I will see you guys later. It is only 12 o'clock. It's going on until seven. So I am leaving now. I came back to the room for my lunch break. I had my food with me and I needed to heat it up. So I took a little break and ate my food. I feel much better. Now it is time to get some Starbucks skis. made it okay so I got back from the expo I made some food I kind of just freshened up a little bit and then changed into my pre-judging outfits just some jeans black one piece usually this is kind of like my go-to outfit <laughs> I'm always wearing jeans some kind of jeans some kind of denim and black with usually a funky piece or something but it's been a long day, but honestly, it's been such a fabulous day. Day one at the Arnold Expo in the books. Gentlemen, front double bicep. back to my room went to pre-judging tonight and watched fitness wellness classic physique and then open sorry I like think I still am like a little brain foggy here but it was an absolutely amazing show everyone everyone looked incredible Samson looked incredible so I'm really looking forward to seeing who takes what? It looks like it was him and Hottie that were up there. So 
we shall see. I was planning on maybe going to Pro's gym, but it's like almost 9.30 and we're waking up early to go to the gym in the morning, train and shoot some content. So I'm looking forward to that. So I might just not go past, get another meal in, shower and relax. And then I will head to bed. So I don't know, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do, but this bed is so comfortable right now and I just don't want to get up. I'm just testing this out. This is my first time really doing this and I'm just creating, vlogging, journaling, I don't know, sharing my, my day and my experience with you guys. So maybe I'll catch you on the next one here. We shall see.